Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at a Takara figure for Age of Extinction. It's an advanced movie figure and it's Dispensor. Yes, Dispensor. I have been waiting seven years for this figure to come out. Um, if you don't remember, Dispensor is uh, from the first film and uh, when the AllSpark uh, gets dropped on the ground, the energy runs out to a Mountain Dew machine. He comes to life, turns into a Decepticon, and instantly starts killing these women <laughs> with soda cans. Um, I've just, you know, I, I think all of fandom has been wanting this figure. And, you know, it's one of the few must-want Michael Bay figures. And they finally released it. Now, he's really nothing more than a repaint of a... Uh, payload figure, which is also a, I think a uh, Transformers 07 film uh, figure, who was a um, armored car. But that's okay. Oh lord, I love this guy. So, yeah, um, definitely cool stuff. Thanks to Hanny for uh, selling him to me. Uh, definitely check out his uh, store, the advertisements at the beginning of this uh, video and I will put a link down in the comments below. He's got lots of really great import figures, very cool stuff. He's got some Soundwave uh, figures coming in for me later. Uh, but yeah, here's the artwork. We got the Transformers 4 logo. Um, there's a really nice uh, piece of art uh, up there at the top of his face. Here he is in the package. I love the translucent sticker. One of my favorites. Um, and then we have Dispensor down here at the bottom. We got some Japanese. He is advanced figure number 11. Um, very cool stuff. There's his little um, gun that shoots all the soda cans. And the cool thing about this guy, not only is he... It was, it's funny, he's, he's not actually Mountain Dew, it's Mood Whiplash. So I'm sure um, there are going to be some repro labels come out for that. Uh, and he kind of has a soda machine look at the top, which is really cool. Side of the package, here is Dispensor. Again, some artwork, a bunch of Japanese I cannot read. Looking very cool. Definitely digging him. Uh, really nothing on that side. As far as the bottom of the figure goes, again, a bunch of Japanese. I cannot read. Takara Tomy. Um, sad Pac-Man. Oh, poor Sad Pac-Man. And then, uh, kind of cool, we got the movie Advanced um, at the bottom there. Here's the back of the package. Wide shot. Um, I mean, it's pretty much sim similar kind of package that we see before. Uh, here is, and it's kind of nice that he's got a bio in English, so that's kind of cool. Um, so if you want to pause and read that, you can. You also have um, Starscream and Protoform Optimus, which is kind of cool. It looks like they took the original um, Protoform figure and just repainted it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, there we have the bottle carrier mode, so his uh, little soda machine mode. Uh, well, soda, soda truck mode, I guess. Here he is in robot mode, looking really cool. And he also has the claw gimmick uh, that Paylo had, Payload had. So yeah, it's still there. Not a problem, though. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. More Japanese. If you can read Japanese and you know what that means, let us know. Pretty cool stuff. But overall, oh lord, yes, I've been waiting for this guy forever, and now he is here. So let's get him out of the package and see what we think. All right, so here we have Dispensor out of package, and he is a compact little truck, and that's okay. That's not a problem. He rolls really well. Again, it's just a repaint of the payload uh, vehicle and robot, but that's okay. I don't mind. I like it. You can store his weapon on the side there, looking really weird. Uh, so we're just going to take that off for the side for now. Put it off to the side. Um, yeah, so there he is. He's got some nice paint apps. He's got this nice Decepticon logo there. His uh, fog lamps are painted yellow. Really cool grill. Uh, we have a black uh, window painted. Again, we got yellow highlights up at the top. 
you have um, basically his soda machine up here, um, which is cool, and I guess that's when they popped out. On the side, we've got the Mood Whiplash logo, not Mountain Dew, uh, which is really fun. And then on the back, we even have some paint apps back here, which I love. We've got the rear uh, doors there, um, which really, <laughs> that should be just like a fold-up door, uh, but this was a... Um, armored car, so that's why that looks that way. Uh, but we do have some uh, taillight paint apps. And again, they're on the side. So yeah, not much really going on there. Pretty cool looking stuff. I do dig him. Now he does have a um, soda machine mode that is not an actual official mode, uh, but we will show it here and see what it looks like. All right, so here is the soda machine mode, and I do like it. It's really um, kind of thrown in there because of transformation. If you look at the side, all you do is flip the back of the uh, the top of the truck up uh, to kind of put it forward. But if you look to the side here, it absolutely looks like it's in a soda machine mode. And when you look at the um, sodas, you've got... What green, red, and gray mood whiplash sodas? Um, yeah, I guess the, the coin slot, and then that's where it comes out. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I do like that. Uh, it was a nice homage. Great idea by the guy who was designing the figure, uh, repainting it. That is absolutely brilliant. Um, so, this is possibly either going to be put into this mode or in the robot mode. I can't decide which on my shelf. So let's get him into the robot mode and see what we think. All right, so here we have Dispensor in his robot mode, and yes, I love him. He is glorious. Um, he obviously has a new head sculpt, which is really, really cool. Um, he's got like Four eyes. He's got some nice silver paint apps above uh, his little crest there. Um, he's got some silver paint apps around his mouth. He does have two little gun pieces, it looks like, coming out of his mouth, which looks really, really cool. Uh, yeah, he's a short, squat little dude, which is, you know, not too bad. I mean, he is supposed to be a vending machine and a, a delivery truck. Uh, he stands really well. Some of the parts are a little loose, like uh, these door panels and how they connect into the shoulders. Those are a little loose, but once you get them into place, they're okay. Um, yeah, so there's kind of a side view. His little gun piece just clips onto the back. If you look at the back of the hand, there's a little peg. Uh, you can keep the hands flipped in and put that piece on either side. Uh, the biggest drawback that a lot of people have been complaining about on this figure is he's got this big button on the back, and that's for his gimmick, and I'll show that here in a second. Uh, Payload had that, this guy's got that, and I mean, it's just the way it is. That's what this figure has. But that's okay, because it matches up really, really well to um, the figure itself. And he actually looks really good uh, in comparison to the robot that we see in the film, where it's even got these kind of panel pieces. And these are original parts that were on Payload. Um, so I don't know if they had intended on doing this guy a long time ago and never did, uh, but I'll put a picture of um, what he looks like in the film in comparison uh, to what this robot looks like. And the other interesting thing, he has paint apps on the back of his head, which look like soda cans uh, stacked up, and that's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, he's got this gimmick where, let's see if I can do this one-handed here. Um, you're going to push back in this claw piece, and of course I snap him in half. Hang on. Okay, let's try this again without the arm falling off here. Okay, so you're going to push the claw piece in, and there we go. So yeah, that's the same exact gimmick that Payload had. Um, and, I mean, it's still there. A lot of people are not digging that. They, you know, they say it gets in the way of the figure. I don't mind it. It's, I mean, it is what it is. That figure ha had that. I mean, that's just the way it is. So, yeah, I I really like him. I, I, I think I'm going to have to display him in robot mode. He just looks too darn cool not to. Um, overall, again, 
it, it is a repaint. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you've got this guy already as payload, you're going to see payload. Uh, but I don't have a payload. I don't care. I've wanted this guy forever, and now I finally have him. Hopefully, Repro Labels does some Mountain Dew um, stickers to put on him. Uh, that would be kind of cool. If not, it's okay the way he is. So there he is. Finally, an actual transforming dispenser figure uh, from Takara Tony. Hopefully, uh, this sells enough that uh, Hasbro will put out one as well. So, uh, if you liked it, thumbs it up. If you hated this, thumbs it down. Uh, share the video. Subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. And as always, look for more videos in the future. Hopefully, this guy makes an appearance in the film. That'd be fun. I doubt it, but I guess we'll see.